With Typhoon Hajibis depriving them of their showdown with England, France ultimately had to be content with second place in Pool C and a quarter-final clash with another Six Nations rival, Wales. Jacques Brunel's men go into Sunday's tie as slight underdogs after largely flattering to deceive in Japan so far, but a 13-day gap between games has given them plenty of time to prepare for the side that defeated them earlier this year on the way to Grand Slam success. Every time we, uh, we speak of Wales, we, uh, we see uh, a clinical uh, game, really a uh, structured game. They, uh, they do simple things, but they do it really, really well. And we saw the, at the Six Nations as well a team that uh, never surrender. They keep intensity during uh, 80 minutes. We know that uh, during the big game, and this weekend will be a big game, they always uh, respond uh, well. They put a lot in, uh, of intensity uh, in defense, in offense, uh, during uh, 80 minutes. A player like uh, Tipuric can, uh, can have a big run at the end of a game. He's uh, never tired. Uh, we hope uh, we can uh, we can surprise them and uh, and win uh, even if we're not uh, the favorite. France go to the final by nine points to eight. France's squad only contains one survivor from the 15 that defeated Wales in the semi-final eight years ago, fullback Maxime Medar. But even those who weren't involved are still drawing inspiration from that knockout run in New Zealand. This team doesn't know its limits, so we don't know how far we can go. We're in the quarterfinals, maybe the semi-finals, we'll see what happens next. Not that long ago, a French team had a good run when everyone thought they were out of sorts in the pool stage. After a good win in the quarterfinals, they hung on. So if we could do the same thing, that would be great.